Hello everybody, in this video we are going to see how to install RQDA on Windows. So if you don't know what RQDA is, I just invite you to watch the previous video uh, on the same channel. To install RQDA, basically we need to install three things. The first one is to install the R base, it's the basically the, the R project. Uh, if you are already using R, you, I'm guessing you already have got uh, installed the stuff. Um, but if you did not install it, you really need to install it because RQDA it's not like uh, the other software uh, because it's like a software who needs the, another software to work basically. After that, the second step is to install R Studios, which is a IDE. Uh, this is totally optional. But uh, I would like to, to, to encourage you to, to download this RStudio uh, IDE because, in my opinion, it's really much more convenient than the traditional uh, R-based uh, software. And at the end, we'll install uh, RQDA. So basically, there is three steps. Because I've already uh, installed RQDA on my main uh, PC, I will just open a VM uh, here. So the first step, as I told you, is to install uh, our project. So I will just uh, open a browser. So whatever, you can use Firefox, or Google Chrome, or what you want. And here I will just go to Google. And then I will just write uh, Roger. And then I just click here. And then I'm going on download here. Download R. And then I have to choose uh, between many countries. Uh, basically, all the links will make you download the same software, but they ask you to choose uh, some location because uh, if you choose uh, the nearest location usually the download will go faster as i'm in switzerland i will choose uh, switzerland for sure but for instance if you are in the states you just uh, choose one of those links you have many choice uh, lawrence uh, los angeles etc etc so choose uh, where you stay the nearest to uh, and so on and so on so basically it's working like that and if you are located in a country and the country is not in that list, just, to, just choose the country which is near to your country. So I will just choose that one. And then I have choice between Linux, Mac and Windows. So I choose Windows. And then I have many choice, but I will choose the base choice. So I'm clicking on base. And after I'm choosing download R 2.15.0 for Windows. Um, I just want to tell you that if you are watching this video later, the version may have been upgraded. So maybe it will not be 2.15 anymore. But anyway, it's the same stuff. So just click on that one and then just download it. Um, during those, uh, that tutorial, as uh, I will install uh, many stuff, if it's taking too much time uh, to download I will just pause the video and after going further when the download has or the installation has been finished okay the download will almost be finished I just need to tell you something uh, look at that this is okay my folder has been downloaded here and actually uh, the username of uh, this Windows uh, virtual machine is me M E this is fine but if for instance you french or if you uh, if, if you if you choose a name with some ax, uh, with some uh, strange special characters such as in french the e accent aigu e accent grave etc it will not work so if you windows username has got some uh, characters like that one with accents so just create a new user on Windows because if you follow the this installation it will not work you will not be able to use RQDA with uh, that kind of username with uh, accents so as a general rule in computing I will uh, suggest you not to use some uh, 
character with accents on the folder names and usernames and so on. Uh, whatever, I'm just uh, clicking two times on this and now I press on run. Uh, let's choose English. Next, next, next. Uh, they are asking you if you want to use a 32 byte installation or 64. Uh, for myself, uh, 32 bytes is uh, fair enough, so I'm choosing next. And then they say if you want to customize the startup options. Uh, really, we will not really need that software, so uh, it's we need to install it, but we'll not use it. So I'm just choosing uh, the. I'm, I'm just choosing now and clicking on next. And then uh, I will just click on next. It's okay for me. Uh, even don't need to, yeah, I will just let it like this and uh, clicking on next. Then I just have to wait a couple of seconds. And if the installation uh, was working, you will see, I think a shortcut on the, on the desktop. Okay, I'm clicking on finish and here you see that the shortcut is here. I will click two times on it. So basically this is the R software and uh, if you want, you can uh, you can use RQDA on this uh, software, but I will just uh, let you introduce and uh, propose you to download the R Studio EDE because uh, personally speaking, I you don't really like this console. Uh, but if you don't want to download RStudio, you can also use it from here. It's good working. So how to install? Do you want to save now? Okay, so now how to install the next software? I will just uh, go on Google again and I write RStudio. Okay, and usually if you're on Google, the first link will be rstudio.org. If you want, you can also write just rstudio.org on the on the address bar. It's the same one. And after you just click on this button, uh, download rstudios, and then you have the choice between the server or the desktop version. Uh, if you are at home uh, on a single computer, just choose this one. And then you can just choose the settings that is recommended for your system. So you can see that the size is 32 megabytes and uh, you can see the version. So currently it's the version uh, 0.96.304 and I've recorded this video the 22 of June 2012. But for sure, if you watch this video later, it may have been upgraded. Whatever, just download this one. And then you will just download it. Okay, so now I will just go to the to the download folders and I will open R Studios. Uh, running, next, next, uh, install. Uh, by the way, I've tried to install uh, those softwares on Windows uh, XP and Windows uh, 7. Uh, even on uh, 32 bytes and 62 uh, bytes uh, versions, and it's good working on usually all Windows platforms. So don't worry, it will usually work. Uh, then you click on finish, and you have installed uh, the software. I don't know, there is no shortcut, but we can just go here. And then we can just go here and create. I will just write copy here and okay, I've got a shortcut. So now I've just clicked two times on this one on R Studios, and now you can see that R Studio is opening, and actually it's almost the same as the GUI version of uh, of the traditional R software. But personally speaking, I prefer to use that one because I'm also working for other projects uh, that are quantitative on, on R and R Studio is really nice. So if you are R user, do not hesitate to, to try R Studio. <clears throat> and after that, 
I will install, it's the last step, RQDA. So I will just go here on package and click on install package. And first I have to choose a location. So it's the same like before, just choose the nearest location where you are. I will choose Switzerland. And then I have to enter the name of the package. So I write RQ and then you can see that I've got a suggestion RQDA. It's exactly what I want. I click on it and I click on install. And this is very important. You have to keep checked the install dependency. So you click on install. So you will just need to, to wait a small time until uh, the software download uh, everything. Okay, once uh, the installation is finished, you will see that here there is again the arrow and uh, you still can write something. So it means that you finish to download. So how to, inst to, how to launch RQDA? You just go here on the, on the package and you just need to check, check RQDA. So I will do that. And this is only the first time you will do all the stuff. Don't worry, after it will be, once you've installed everything, it will be very quick to, to open RQDA. So he, he needs the GTK plus uh, package uh, because I told you that RQDA is a GUI application. So this is a GUI application working on the GTK plus uh, framework. So you just write, okay. This is very important. You need to install it. So you click okay, install and okay. And then you will again need to wait a couple of seconds. Okay, and once you've uh, finished to install the software, you should have a new window like this uh, coming up. And this is basically the RQDA software. So now uh, I will just uh, close it. So do you want to close? Yes, I'll close this one too. Every time you want to use RQDA software, you just do like this. First, you open RStudio, and then you just need to check the box RQDA. And then the software is opening uh, here. So just working like that. So just Every time you want to use RQDA, just check uh, open first R Studio, check, check RQDA, and then you can use the software. So I invite you to check the next uh, videos in order to know uh, how to use RQDA. Thanks for watching. Cheers.